Hey guys and welcome back to part 3. Now I've gone ahead and added all my add-ons into these sections here. They've all been categorised as you can see there. Now the next step for building your skin is to build the whole menu here. So as you can see, there's a lot of icons here, such as weather, concerts, all that stuff. Now, some people will use them. Some people will change them. I'm going to keep it really simple and keep it down to the categories that we've got in our favourites. So we're going to go into System, Appearance. We're going to scroll across to the right and we're going to go to this settings box here. First of all, actually, what I tend to do is I always tend to have that on expert so I know I'm not going to be missing any settings. So you can go ahead and change that. Then we're going to go across to this box on the right and we're going to go to settings again. The positioning of the bar by default is set to the middle of the screen. Now I tend to change this to low so it's along the bottom here. On the main menu simply so you can see all of your wallpaper um, some people keep it in the middle again completely up to you and uh, you can also change the menu layout so we can have icons we'll just jump out of here and show you that as you can see it's changed from writing and it's changed to icons so there's an option You can have it with three items, which tends to make your text a little bit more spread out. And you can also change this to five items. It's defaulted at five items, so I'm going to keep it like that, but keep it how you may want it to be. Now, to edit your home icons, you want to go to this option at the top, set up the Aeon Knox main menu, and you will be prompted with this. Starting from the beginning, as you can see, this is our first menu item, and it is pictures. Now, I don't know anybody who uses picture add-ons, but you can change this to anything that you may wish. Now, the first sign you need to look for is to see if it's enabled. If it is, you will see that this here is lit up. So what you want to do is you want to go to default select action, select that and you will be prompted with this menu. Now we're going to go into the favourites option and as you can see here are all our favourites that we added from the category add-on in the previous um, video. So I'm going to start it off with movies. Now that has automatically changed to open the, whichever um, add-ons are added to that movies category will open in a separate menu when you select that on your home screen. I'll just show you what I mean. So here's our main menu, our main Cody menu. I'm going to go across to movies. As you can see, that's what we just added. We're going to select enter on this and this has instantly opened all the add-ons that we are put in that category of movies. You can add to this in the exact same way as you would um, in the previous video. If you've installed new add-ons since building your skin, just jump ahead into your categories add-on and you want to uh, add them to the category movies and they'll instantly add to this list here. We're going to go and do the same again for TV shows and the other ones we added. So I'm just going to go down the list here. It doesn't matter which you are replacing so long as you keep your system option there. So again, we will go to favourites and we're going to select TV shows. Next up, we will add sports. So we're going to go to favourites again. And we will add the sports selection. Next up, we will choose live TV. And we will then choose 
kids section. Now this bit here, we've released um, the custom menu actions. As you can see, none of these are enabled. So basically, it's just the same again. Go down to the custom menu, default select action, favorites, and we will add music. As you can see, that switched itself on as soon as you selected an action for it. The last one that I'm going to add is all add-ons. Now, how you choose to do this is up to you. I've added all the video add-ons to this. So you could do that with all your program add-ons or all your music add-ons i'm basically going to keep it at video add-ons because they're what i use the most so we will jump out of this quickly and as you can see it has added all of these one by one so we'll go into sports and as you can see there are all the add-ons that are associated with sports and the same for tv shows movies live tv etc changing the title of these is really simple i'm going to cover that in the next video again the next video is going to be all about renaming and changing the color of all these icons and we'll also change the color of the glow bar thanks for watching guys and keep your eye out for the next part